Hello guys, today we are going to make the dark mode application. Uh, nowadays, if we go to a lot of websites, there are a lot of websites that has uh, a dark mode feature. So that's why I decided to make this very simple dark mode application. And the reason why I make really simple application is I don't want to make this video really long and to make you feel really bored. <laughs> So that's why I made it really simple. So if you see this app I just made, uh, if you click the light mode, it will just turn light and if I click the dark mode, it will be dark. And then even when you refresh the page, it still be in the dark mode. And in light mode, it still be in the light mode. So um, the reason why I say when I refresh the page, um, when you go to the different page, it still has to be dark mode when you click the dark mode. And when you come to this side from the other side, uh, you want this one, this side to remember, I just clicked the dark mode. So that's why even when you refresh the, this page, it has to be the dark like this. So uh, I'm just gonna let you see how we are gonna make the dark mode application oh uh, if you see here there will be the HOC high order component and uh, there will be the place that we need to toggle to toggle into uh, dark mode or the light mode uh, by clicking something and we will have the page and page and we also need to use the local storage because the, uh, we are going to use the redux per state management but if you repress the page this Redux will have the deeper value. So at that time, like we need to use the local storage because local storage have the same value if we just set one value. So um, when we refresh the page, we're gonna use the local storage, but when we don't refresh the page, we just use the Redux to change the dark mode or light mode. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna just uh, do coding. So first we need to make some further. Um, I'm gonna react theme app, and then I'm gonna turn on my editor. My favorite editor is a Visual Studio Code, and go put it in here, and then okay. So in here with the terminal on. So first we need to create our React app. So npx create React app. And I'm gonna do it in this directory. It take a while to download all of the React. So now we are done downloading React. So now we need to download the dependencies though we need for these applications i just wrote them down uh, and this will be the first they will be redux and the next one will be react redux next uh, we are going to use a redux hook so we need to have the latest version of react redux and we also need redux promise and redux found and we will use the start component too so i'm gonna download it Okay, I'm gonna type it by myself npm install redux and react redux and next for the latest version and redux song a promise and redux song and styled components and save. So now if we now we are done with downloading all the dependency we need for this app. So if we see here, like there are many dependencies downloaded. So now I'm gonna do some configuration for Redux, but it's not the video for Redux. So I'm gonna do configuration really fast. So first we go to um, SRC, we will make the um, reducer further for redux and actions further and we go into we, we come in index.js in here I'm gonna bring all the redux things uh, first the reducer from um, this file and then the 
for that we just made and import provider for React Redux. I import, create, scroll, scroll, and apply middle layer from Redux. I import from this middle layer from Redux from this and import Redux funk. From Redux funk. And <laughs> it's a variable for to restore. So, with middle layer, apply middle layer, and promise middle layer, and with docs, sunk, and then create store. And here, we need to do the provider first, and then in here we will have the store, store, and register. And I'm gonna just uh, uh, copy and paste it because it's kind of long. And this is for, like, uh, this one is for the extension. Like, if you come in here, you can see this extension. So, there was that for that. And this to go off. And then we are sending it to make file in the FTS. So in, in, in this uh, file, we're going to combine all of the reducer store. Like, so in here, import, combine, combine reducers from Redux. Import and config we didn't make this fire config reducer and const root reducer and combine reducer so we're gonna put this file in here so we're gonna make this file in here config reducer .js. so if we make the another file in here like user reducer we can import a user in here and then we put the user one this one so we will combine the reducers in here so and then the one more thing we need to do is we need to export this one default and root reducer now this one is not a reducer bd uh redux video so i'm just gonna do very fast without any explanation so and we are sending the um, config config action js so in here and we are sending the type file inside the action type stack type stack js import so i'm gonna make it later for this page after making making this app.js page so i'm gonna turn it on the, this one on the browser first to see what's going on right now npm run starts yeah, in here so we're gonna change this from now on so we're gonna make it smaller first we're gonna make this never far as we did as we did here so never start with 100 percent heading i am so background color gray and text align center yeah so inside here I'm gonna do, make two buttons button normal button in dark mode you see here yeah you can see this one in here right now and then before we download the styled component so we need to bring that one first um, there is a one nice feature as there is one nice feature named the theme provider we can get from the styled component so we will bring it import theme provider 
from style components. So we need to wrap our application with this one to change the theme. So, but we don't have a theme right now in here. So first we need to make the theme further. And in theme further, we're gonna do two theme, dark theme and light theme. And dark theme, just I'm gonna bring that dark themes will be uh, default. And here the color and background will be black and card and text color and white. It'd be really simple like that and then we copy it and then for the right theme oh. right dot js so light theme will be totally opposite background will be white and the text color will be black and then we need to make the component for the theme so it will be like container Enter.js and here we will bring the style component style and here export default and style div and background Props. Uh, if you don't know how to use the style component, it's better to check the style component website because uh, it'd be kind of wrong to explain how it's going right now. So it's just only focus on the dark, how to make the dark mode. So I hope you can understand it. And just, I, I'm sorry not to explain so in detail but if you really want to know just a please comment in the below so I'm gonna let you know more in detail so, so theme and color and background so if you see in here this one light in light theme background you can have this one the theme color background Thing, color background you can see thing color background and if you want to use a theme color background like this and then we are sending the color for the text props we need to bring props and the props and theme again and colors and text color so if you see in here again like test color if you want to use the light theme so it will have a black text color in here so like yeah save it and they will come here so we use the, this theme provider wrapper for this page so in here theme so you can um import this light theme and dark theme so first uh, light theme from theme and light and import dark theme from theme dark so if you are in the dark theme right now, you will use this dark theme for this color. But if you are uh, if you are in the right theme, your configuration is a right theme. You will use this component. So you can write so many things in here. 
through the light scene if you want to. So we just uh, yeah put this one in here. Now it's the default one, so nothing has changed. So we need to bring this uh, container component. <coughs> so container from same and component and container. Uh, so we will use this container for the header we're gonna change so it, we're gonna remove this part so see something has changed I think we will have we have some type of issue if you see here it, it was just color it has to be color because the, if we see here it was colors not color so even in here I just type that yeah, there was a type of issue so type it oh, right now it's better so but the style was that um, really weird right now because though before we use this one but we now just use this style so we are going to bring this one and paste it in here oh, nice way better right now so if I go app.js in here so if I change this one into dark theme yeah it becomes dark theme so but we can always do the code change we want to change the theme so that's why we need to do some toggle for uh, using this button so we need to on click and theme change but we need to have some parameter in here so that's why I need to use the arrow function so it will be dark mode and it will be right mode arrow function in here too then I'm gonna make this function in here and I have a value and I'm gonna make the redux function in here and I also use the redux hook right in here so to use the redux hook I'm gonna bring use selector use this patch from react redux so to make some function in here some action in here we're gonna bring this one const this patch use this patch first I'm gonna use this one in this patch dark mode action this will be the action name and we will put the value for this action but we don't have this action inside the config action so first uh, we will make that action in inside of config action so export function and that action we got the variable and return type name will be just the dark mode and payload will be variable okay and we also need to import the uh, dark mode from types we didn't have this type so we need to make this one type 2 type so explore becomes dark mode and dark mode okay, and we need to make the reducer like a, in here import dark mode from actions and types and export default function and first we will have the state the initial state will be just empty object and action we also have the action 
and switch and action time time case first will be dark mode and return javascript object the first everything the spread function we bring everything here right now actually that is nothing and then the dark mode action the pay load and we are sending the default for the switch and return will be just stay so we are done so action payload will be just uh, comes from the here action this will be the action and the payroll payroll comes from the variable or the or so variable comes from so this will be just the uh, dark or light so dark or light we put that in here if we go to the config and then we also go to the reducer and reducer comes in here like config and so i'm gonna let you see later uh, if we come in here if we see like config and the dark mode and dark if i click the light and config dark mode light instead of dark so I come to this one in here again so we don't have this we didn't import this one in here so we import it from actions and config action so if we see here right now now we don't have anything but if we click this one like we have dark inside of our reducer store so it becomes a dark so we want to bring this value or uh, in here let our application know it's the dark mode right now so how can we do that so we are uh, it's time to use our redux hook again so we will use the user selector first config and we use use selector and this will stay stay config and this means like you can see in here state this config state we will bring this config state so if i just let you see console log and config okay just nothing but if i click this one a dark mode dark I click this one a light so if you we want to just to have the slide value or dark value here uh, we can do it like this first theme value config dark mode and then so click this one dark or light so we need to use this one in here so theme value is um light uh, it will be light theme if not dark theme so you can see here now and we can change it but there is a one more problem problem we need to solve that will be when we refresh the page when we refresh the page the redux will be just null like there is no value in here so that's why uh, it's time for us to put our value inside the local storage so now we need to get help from some react cook right now so it will be use that I cannot also explain all about React Hook right now, so you can just see what's going on if you 
don't know what is a react hook. If you have used uh, just a react, this is the life cycle. This is same as the component. Component did mount. But we are now use the functional component, so that's why we couldn't use the yeah, life cycle in here. So we are use it fast. So use it fast. We don't need this one and this one. So we need only when this config value is undefined here. Because the if I say again, so we need this function when we just refresh the page page. So when we refresh the page, uh this config value will be nerf because Redux will have just a deeper value. Deeper value is big reducer yeah the first day is a uh, nothing inside the object so that's why when we refresh the page it just uh, doesn't have any the value inside of there that's why we need this one so whenever we change the scene when we click this one we will also put this value inside a uh, like local storage so to do that window local storage and set item and theme will be value so right now if we go to application and local storage if i click this one theme dark and some light so we will get this value when we refresh the page so we will use the use effect for that one so in here so when we don't have this config and dark mode we will use the dispatch this one but we don't have a value in here right now so we will bring from the local storage so just so we can easily get that window local storage and get item and sim so we brought this from the local storage and we put it and we will do the dispatch action so actually that is all we need to do but So now we are gonna see a line mode and refresh it. Oh, oh maybe. Uh, I'm sorry, like I need to do this one. When configure dark is the force, uh, is the force, I need to trigger this one. So I need to do it again. So dark mode and dark mode and line mode. And even when I refresh page, it will be a line mode. So thank you for watching this video i used the redux because in other video they already used the local only local storage or any other thing so that's why i need to use the redux for the new video so i hope you have a really helpful time with this one and if you want to make the make this application scalable I think it's better for you to put this code into header and then you will change this selector in header and you can make it select button and option and or just make some animation for this one to make it more scalable and reusable so so and thank you for watching this video and have a really nice day bye